Hey guys, Infinity here. Welcome to Weapon Wednesday. The series focuses on breaking down the weapons in the official DZ to help you get a better understanding of them. For the first weapon in this series, I've chosen the M4. The reason I've chosen the M4 is that it's the most powerful weapon in the game, yet also very hard to obtain, making the challenge to find one of these very, very rewarding. In addition, I also very much enjoy using this gun. I've had many in my hands and it's a great close quarter combat gun that also does very well at range. Without further ado though, let's get into it. The M4 can be found exclusively at permanent contaminated zones in DayZ. This means that to attain your M4, you need to piece together a full MBC suit kit with a gas mask to enter a contamination zone. All the MBC gear can be found only at medical buildings or fire stations across your respective map. If you're on Cherno, you can visit Pavlovo or Riffy to obtain an M4. And for the Livonia players out there, you can visit the Glinska or Raduin airfields. Only a maximum of one M4 spawns per server, so you may need to visit both contamination zones on a server, with the spawn refresh set to 8 hours. When it comes to sites, the M4 has 8. It's quite impressive. You get the ATOG 4, the ATOG 6, the Baraka sites, the Combat sites, the RVN sites, the M4 carry handle sites, the BUIS site, or the NVP VSO. All these sites except the NVP VSO can be found in military spawns across the map. The only catch is that the NVP VSO is also restricted to contamination zones only. When looking at handguards, there are three options to choose from. The plastic handguard, the MP handguard, and the rail handguard. The MP handguard offers a 10% accuracy improvement making it the best of the three. However, the rail handguard also offers an 8.3% improvement but allows you to equip a flashlight, making it useful for night time or clearing out the bunker on Livonia. The plastic handguard on the other hand just offers a 6% accuracy improvement. All of these handguards can be found at general military spawns across the map. When looking at buttstocks for the M4, there's also three. There's the OE buttstock, the MP buttstock, and the CQB buttstock. Once again, the MP buttstock comes in first for accuracy with a 16.7% improvement. This is followed closely by the OE buttstock at 13.3%. However, if you're taking this weapon into close quarter battles, the CQB buttstock is your favourite option. It offers a 33% improvement in movement speeds, whilst also offering a 10% accuracy improvement, allowing you to snap onto targets more quickly compared to the other buttstocks. There are 6 magazines that the M4 can use. There's the 10 round C mag, the 20 round C mag, the 30 round C mag, the 40 round C mag, the 30 round Stanag, and the 60 round Stanag. Whilst all magazines up to a 30 round size can be found at general military spawn points across the map, the 40 and 60 round mags have specific spawn locations. The 60 round magazine can only be found at helicopter crash sites and military convoys, whilst the 40 round mag is exclusively spawning in static contaminated zones. When it comes to suppressing the weapon, the game offers you two options. You have the plastic bottle suppressor and the standardised suppressor. The plastic bottle suppressor can be crafted easily in game, whilst the standardised suppressor can be only found in static contaminated zones as well. They both offer an accuracy improvement of 6.7%, however the standardised suppressor lasts for 146 bullets from pristine to ruined, whereas the plastic bottle suppressor ruins in only 5 bullets. There are three accessory attachments for the M4 as well. There's the ghillie wrap, the weapon flashlight, and the M9A1 bayonet. The ghillie wrap will cover the gun in camouflage, allowing it to better blend into the natural environment. The flashlight attachment will provide light to help you see at night. The bayonet attachment can be used for melee combat, which stuns zombies, allowing a three hit body kill or a two hit head kill. When it comes to shooting bullets, the M4 can one to two shot zombies in the body at most ranges, and will always one shot zombies in the heads. When it comes to killing other players, the M4 will body shot fresh spawns in 2 bullets, medium geared players in 3 bullets, and heavily geared players in 4 shots. If you're lucky enough to land a headshot on a player, it will 1 hit kill fresh spawns, 1 hit kill medium geared players, and 2 hit kill heavily geared players. At close range, most of the optics get the job done. The M68 optic shines in close quarter combat as does the RVN optic as you can see here. The Coyote sights as well do a really good job. The BUIS is alright, although it doesn't really have a nice sight. The ATOG 4X's iron sight is really not the best to use. However, the zoom function on the scope is great. 
ATOG 6X Red Dot Shines. It is my favorite optic for this gun. And then when using the zoom feature, it still works great. When you increase the range, the red dot sights really start to show their weakness. As you can see here, you have to really line up your shot and stand still for quite some time. Both the M68 combat optic and the RVN sights take precise firing to get the job done, as does the Coyote sight, as you can see here. I wouldn't recommend using the BUIS as it makes it really hard to use and it just doesn't really work with the range. It only zeroes to 25 meters as well, so you have to lead quite a bit. The ACOG's 4X's iron sights are horrible. You miss many shots and I wouldn't recommend using this unless you have to. It's really not that good. On the contrast, if you use its actual scope, it makes hitting targets very easy and straightforward. Same goes for the ATOG 6X, however the red dot sight makes hitting targets a little bit easier and much more manageable. And then obviously the 6X scope just shines in long range situations. And with that, this concludes this episode of Weapon Wednesday. Overall the M4 is a very strong weapon in DayZ. It has many customization options allowing it to be versatile in almost every engagement you will come across. Although it takes some planning to obtain one, once you have it, it gives you the upper hand in every close quarter battle you will walk into. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. If you liked it and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Comment what weapon you would like to see next on Weapon Wednesdays, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.